Tankster here and uh, got a little of a quickie review here. Now if you've been paying attention to the news or anything like that, um, last Wednesday, uh, which was of course um, October 21st, 2015, was declared officially Back to the Future Day, being that it was the day in which uh, Doc took Marty McFly to the future uh, in the second movie. And um, basically to prevent his son from getting arrested and because of the association with uh, Biff's grandson's gang, Griff, um, basically involving himself in a robbery. Well, here... Now, of course, when he, uh, when uh, Doc, when they all arrived there, of course, Doc told Marty what was going on, and he, of course, showed him this. This is, the original article was called Youth Jailed. There's a photograph of uh, Marty O'Fly Jr., of course, played also by Michael J. Fox. He, of course, played Marty McFly, his son, and, of course, his daughter in the film. And they, of course, had all done sort of futuristically. As you can see here, it was, um, this, of course, was a special edition of USA Today. It came out Thursday, the 22nd. Um, which basically would have had everything take place you know, if the new, you know the news kept running into the following day, and um, some cute stories here, like you know, cholesterol may be a cancer cure. Um, three injured when mom rehydrates pizza slices. Um, you got Hollywood to remake a match made in space, which of course was the book written by Marty's dad, and even has some little brief blurbs here. Newsline, of course, the uh, popular one, Cubs Sweep Mer uh, Series in 5, which, of course, really didn't happen. We were kind of hoping they were going to make it, but they didn't. And uh, finally, this little article here, public more gullible than ever, kind of referring to people falling for uh, phony articles, thinking that they're real. Probably, probably those people think this is a real thing here. But, uh, now, of course, as you know what happened in the in the actual story, uh, Marty dresses up as his son, uh, meets up with Griff and his gang, um, trying to uh, bow out of uh, joining them, and winds up having that uh, hoverboard chase across town. Of course, uh, he uh, gets them into crashing into the courthouse, which, of course, results in them getting arrested, and... Um, his son would never be involved with the theft and would not get arrested. And instead, of course, this part here, it'd be, kind of, it'd be probably like youths jailed. And it'd be a picture of Griff saying, uh, I was framed. And the article here, this is, take, this is taken by a, a drone, by the way. Which, of course, we do have today. We have drones, even though we don't have um, photograph taking drones for the, for the press or anything. But... Um, it's, of course, it also says here, Hill Valley Edition. This is, of course, it's futuristic, but this is basically the setup of how USA Today look, was set up back in the, the late 80s, when Back to the Future 2 came out. Um, now, of course, this is only a slip cover. The actual paper, newspaper was underneath it, uh, featuring, of course... Biden's bow out of the election, whoopie do. And um, here is the little drawing of the drone, which uh, was featured in the movie. Here's a picture of uh, Christopher Lloyd and uh, and uh, Leah Thompson, but for the movie. By the way, uh, the uh, December, I mean, excuse me, October 12, 22nd was Christopher Lloyd's birthday. Ironically enough, and um, of course the pullout part. Now I had this uh, really good repl replica of the 
of the uh, first version of the paper. It also has some little promotions here. We got uh, Jaws 19. This time it's really, really personal. And uh, uh, it's a doesn't have who started it, though. No. It's humbly enough. It just has, um... And, of course, as I mentioned, this is Watch the Official Jaws 19 trailer at FutureUSAToday.com. It does have, like, a futuristic-looking thing for, uh, iPads. And in the back here, got a promotion for uh, the Back to the Future trilogy... Blu-ray set, Blu-ray DVD sets, and of course there's also a special collector's edition with uh, some cool stuff, including of course, they also just released the uh, DVD version of the Back to the Future animated series, which was on CBS back in the uh, early 90s, shortly after the, the release of the third movie, and then there's a flyer featuring a photograph of uh, Michael J. Fox um, for uh, Parkinson's disease. Uh, fight for a cure for Parkinson's disease, which of course Michael J. Fox does have. Um, but uh, if you are into the movie or just like to collect uh, replicas and collectibles, I, I guess grab this. It's, it was the same price, two bucks. Um, just uh, probably had, probably now you have to find it online like on eBay and all. But uh, get a hold of one of these. This is a pretty good, cute collectible. And uh, stay tuned here for more reviews and whatnot in the past, present, and the future here on the Multiverse. So